Hey everyone, today I'm going to go over how to do marbling on fabric. I'm going to marble this shirt and I just will say I think it would be an easier project if I had used short sleeves, um, but I ended up getting it to work with this, but just word to the wise. So this one has a little bit of a grungy stain on it. I think it was mixed in the laundry with something it wasn't supposed to be. So the first thing I'm going to do is mix up my soda ash and water solution and I'm going to prep the shirt for dyeing. Soda ash is really important because it makes the fibers ready to receive the dye. Um, it will give you those really vibrant colors so it's an important step. I'm going to let it sit for about 20 minutes. And while it's sitting, I'm going to prep my dye space. As you can see, I have a drop cloth down and um, some squeezy bottles. This is actually the tie dye kit that I offer on my website. This is the Arctic Waters colorway. And I am using the leftover dye from another project that I use this kit for. So um, it, it comes with a lot of dye. You can reuse it in this way and if you have another tie-dye kit this is a great idea to use up whatever is left in your squeezy bottles because often you don't need that much dye to do tie-dye so this is kind of like a bonus project for the tie-dye kit i am adding barbazol shaving cream to the dye and i'm just carefully mixing it into the dye one color at a time. You can use one color, you can use multiple colors to do marbling. It is a very creative process and it's super fun to do. Um, and I feel like marbling has been really trending for a long time. So it's super fun and easy. I've done marbling on paper, but this is my first time doing marbling on fabric and it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. So I'm just working it into the dye. It's important that it has some shaving cream in it, but it doesn't need to be like super thick. You want it to be like a little bit watery, but a little bit medium thick, um, not as thick as the shaving cream. You will need to have a waterproof surface laid down for this project. This is the drop cloth that comes with the tie-dye kit, um, but you can also use like a plastic bag or a tarp or something if you don't have a kit. Um, I just use this one over and over and I wipe it down. It's like a great uh, drop cloth to have. I like to keep my studio as tidy as possible and you know dyeing is super messy so it's important to me to always have a drop cloth. So now they are all mixed up and you can see that the colors are a little bit more pastel-y and I'm going to take a big bowl and I'm going to clean off the nozzle of my shaving cream to make sure I'm not getting any color in there. And I'm just going to empty out about half the can. It's kind of hard to measure, but um, I just sort of felt it. And if it felt half empty, I knew it was about half the can. So I'm going to mix in about half a, half a cup of water. And I'm going to just incorporate that into the shaving cream to get it a little less stiff. So I'm just putting water in as I see fit. I just want it to be like, kind of like whipped cream consistency. And the next thing I'm going to do is lay all of the shaving cream out onto the drop cloth. And I'm going to start to spread it out. I am trying to get it even, almost like you would frosting or something um, and I'm trying to get it about the size of my shirt so whatever you're dyeing you only need that much for uh, to cover the area of whatever you're dyeing 
and I realized I need more. So I ended up just using almost the whole can of shaving cream because um, the shirt I'm dying has sleeves and it's like, you know, big piece of fabric. If you're dying like a little pillow or something, I think it would be less. Um, but you can also put multiple pieces on this so you can kind of gauge how much area you want. So once I get all the shaving cream evenly spread out, I'm gonna take my squeezy bottles and start to put the color in. And I'm starting with the lightest color. So whatever colors you're doing, start with the lightest. And just like tie-dye, a little dab will do ya. And I wanna make sure that this marble is nice and light and airy. So I'm just squeezing little bits of the dye and the shaving cream mixture onto the white shaving cream mixture. And then I'm going to take a fork and start to swirl it. And I'm going slow and trying to make sure I like what I see as I'm going. Because like I said, I want to make sure this is pretty light and airy. So I want to have some negative space in there. So I'm just going one color blob at a time. And, you know, I want to mix it, but I don't want to mix it up too much because it does have the potential to just be like a solid color. So you could even do probably less mixing than this if you want. I'm just adding in a little bit more of that purple color to make sure it's nice and purpley because that's what I want. So you can kind of mix to your heart's desire and just a few more swirls until it's ready. And then I'm adding a little more navy just to punch up the dynamics. I want to make sure that it doesn't look like mush and it has some very obvious highs and lows in there. So I've used up pretty much all of my dye and I'm ready to put my shirt on. So I have folded my shirt in half with the front facing outward and I'm putting it on one half at a time and then I'm going to unfold it and place the other half onto my shaving cream mixture. So with the sleeves I'm just carefully spreading them out. All right so I'm going to let this um, hang out. Now I'm going to let this sit about for about 20 and minutes I'm going and I'm going to just keep an eye on it. So you can see it's been about 20 minutes and the dye is starting to kind of come through the other side and I'm going to carefully pull it up and you can kind of see on there already that it's marbled and I think it looks awesome and I'm going to just place it down on the other side. So you can get a couple of passes on the marbleized shaving cream. Just each pass that you do gets a little lighter. I actually did a few test strips after this on some cotton sheeting and you could um, see the, the marbling, but it was not as bright and dynamic as it was on the first pass. But for the back of the shirt, it's fine. Now you can see there's some white parts where it folded because on the shirt, you know, it's not square. It's kind of it's kind of hard to lay it totally flat. So I'm going in and just taking some of the dye shaving cream and putting it on parts that didn't get as much dye as I want. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I just decided to try it. And now I'm going to just kind of poke the shirt into the shaving cream to make sure it doesn't have any um, bubbles in there 
and I'm gonna let it sit again for about 10-15 minutes to soak in the dye on the back. So here it is, it's been soaking and it's kind of like a big crazy mess, but I am ready to pull it off of the shaving cream and set it aside. I have another drop cloth on the floor that I'm going to pull this and then put it on there to start to dry and um, let it sit. So here it is, it's on the other plastic tablecloth that I have for dyeing. Sorry you guys, this is New York City. Um, and I'm gonna let it sit for a few hours and make sure it stays nice and wet. I might even have to spray it down with some water. But I think it looks awesome. I, I, I couldn't have imagined it coming out better. I mean, we have to wash it still, but let's see. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to wear this shirt. So it has been sitting here for a few hours and it's still pretty wet. And I moved it again because I realized I had some little pink um, dots of dye on the other drop cloth. So just words to the wise if you're gonna put it on something make sure it's clean that happens to me sometimes but you know what i think it's kind of cool it's just on the back really um anyway so i'm gonna rinse it now and then let it dry i'm gonna rinse it and wash it with synthapol just really quickly hand wash it and um let it dry and then I'll wash it again in the machine but I think it looks really cool all right so this has been drying overnight and I'm about to take it to the laundromat um, to wash I think it turned out really nice hey everyone so I washed my shirt and you can see all the marbling on it. It looks really cool, I think. And I washed it with Synthrapol and washed it on hot. So I really think it turned out nice. You can see the sleeves here. Um, I definitely will do this again. I want to do it on like um, a jersey, I think something kind of like more uh, flat, a flatter surface, because this is like you know the waffle so it takes the dye differently than a jersey would but i'm definitely very happy with the results because this shirt was like not really something i was wearing a lot so now i can wear it and i think it turned out really cute so anyway if you guys get a chance to make marbling of your own you can put them on Instagram and then tag me at Onyx Matter. I love to see what you guys make and it really inspires me. So if you also have ideas for videos, you can put that in the comments. I'm always interested to know what you guys want to see. So be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more dyeing videos every Thursday and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.